I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on solving linear equations. Here we have an excellent request from one of our subscribers. I hope the solution of this question will help many others. We need to solve these two equations. The first one is y plus 1 over 6 minus 3y equals to 2 over 3. And then we have 1 over x plus 2 over 2x. Uh, let me make it uh, uh, different. Let's make it 3x. Uh, otherwise, we can just cancel, right? So 1 over x plus 2 over 3x equals to 3 over 5, right? We need to solve these two equations. So the very first one, we'll try to combine the like terms, which is y in this case, and take 1 over 6 to the right side. So let's see. So we get y minus 3y equal to 2 over 3 minus 1 over 6. Now y minus 3y is minus 2y. Now here we should take a common denominator which is 6 very clearly. So to make this as 6 I have to multiply by 2 both the terms. So I could write this as 4 over 6 minus 1 over 6. Correct. So we have minus 2y equals to 4 minus 1 is 3. So we get 3 over 6. Now 3 over 6 can be written as 1 over 2, right? So you can just cancel and simplify this a bit. Correct? So you could cancel by 3, so we get 1 over 2, so it could be written as half. So from here, we get the value of y as equal to negative half times half, dividing this by uh, minus 2, so it makes it negative. And so we get y equals to negative 1 over 4 as our answer, correct? So the solution here is y equals to negative 1 over 4, correct? Now let's see how to do the second equation, which I changed a bit. So on the left side, if you see we have x and 3x, let me rewrite this question now, right? So what we have here is 1 over x plus 2 over 3x equals to 3 over 5, right? So here we have 3x, so we have to multiply both by 3 to get 3 over 3x plus 2 over 3x. And here we have 3 over 5, correct? Common denominator, 3x, we can add the numerators, so we get 5 over 3x equals to 3 over 5. Now at this stage, you can cross multiply. So we get 5 times 5 equals to 3 times 3x. Correct? Which is 25 equals to 9x. And dividing by 9, we get 25 over 9 as the value of x. Is that clear to you? So here, the solution is uh, x is 25 over 9. Correct? So we have our answer. And that is x is equals to 25 over over 9. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So whenever you have fractions involved, you have to have a common denominator. Once you have a common denominator, then you can add or subtract the fractions. The idea is always to keep the like terms together, the numbers on the other side. And once you reach a stage, which is kind of a ratio, you can cross multiply and find your solution. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.